Hi, it's Jackie, and we're here to do a little bit of yoga again today. So as you get situated, get settled to uh, prepare, you can put out a yoga mat if you have one. If you don't have one, you can just lie on the floor, whatever works for you. But get yourself into a situation where you can take the next uh, 30, 45 minutes for yourself to really just have a little time for yourself to care for your body. So if you can close the door of the room that you're in, turn off your phone, you know, turn off your devices, let yourself have just this little bit of time for yourself. So take a moment get settled. Today we're going to start sitting on the floor. So just a little bit of um, just some tips about sitting on the floor. So I have, um, right now I'm sitting on a couple of folded blankets. <clears throat> but I've got my hips raised up. And the reason to do that is so that my back is in a more uh, neutral and supportive position. So if I sit on the floor, I'm just turning sideways so you can see me. If I sit on the floor with my legs crossed, I can sit up pretty tall. But after a while, then things start to sink. My back starts to round. My shoulders go forward. My head goes forward. This slumping movement, pretty common for you know most of us who have to sit, even in chairs, is not a great way for the spine to bear weight. So also you notice my knees are above my hips here. So the goal is to have my hips even with my knees or my knees even below my hips a little bit. So if I take a couple of blankets, so that's what I have here. These are you know firm blankets. You could sit on something like a yoga block <clears throat> or just raise your hips up for sitting. And then when I sit, I can cross my legs. And now what happens is that my hips are a little bit above my knees or they're more even. This allows my upper body to lengthen up. So I'm not rounding forward, but my shoulders are over my hips and I have a little curve in my back, which is a more... Um, appropriate way for my spine to carry the weight. So I strongly suggest you raise your hips up a little bit so that this is the what you're looking for, knees even with your hips or a little bit below your hips. And then just rock around a little bit and see what you feel. How does it feel to sit? Go both ways with your little rocking circles. And then come to the center, sit up tall. Again, we want to get some length in the spine so the shoulders are back slightly, not rounding forward. The head is lifted, not jutting forward. So just try to get your spine nice and lifted. <clears throat> Do some movement with your head. You could go side to side, up and down. Say yes and no. Just some movement with your neck. Maybe even make some head, some circles with your head. See how that feels. And then some shoulder rolls. So we'll just do some little shoulder rolls backwards. Many of us are accumulating some tension in the neck and the shoulders and the jaws with all the things that are going on right now. So they're nice movements. Here's a nice shoulder opener is to take your arm back behind you like you're doing the backstroke and turn your head, look over your shoulder. Do that to each side. We'll do that a few times to each side. So little twist in the chest as you take your arm back. Let your head and your eyes turn. You may notice how one shoulder feels compared to the other shoulder. Let's do one more to each side. And then again, just some <clears throat> sitting up nice and tall. So we're going to take a couple of uh, breaths with a sigh. So inhale, shrug your shoulders. And then sigh. Let the shoulders drop down. Do that again. Inhale. And then the sigh. And then a little bit of um, a different movement for the shoulders. So please take an in-breath and let your arms float up. Breathe through your nose. On the exhale, we're going to turn to one side. So one hand's going to come across and the other hand's going to touch the floor behind. And then inhale, come to the center and lift. The arms go out to the side. So exhale, turn to the other side. So we're getting some movement in the rib cage. 
Inhale, center and lift. Exhale, let the hands just spiral around. Inhale, center and lift. Exhale, a little turn. I'm not using my front hand to pull at all. I'm just resting it on my leg. Inhale, center. Let's go to each side one more time. Exhale, turn. Inhale, center. Exhale, turn. Inhale, center. Exhale, your arms down. Inhale, both arms up over your head. Lengthening the sides. Exhale, down. This time, inhale, both arms up over your head. And keep one arm up, and on the exhale, let just the other arm come down to the floor and lean over to that side. Slowly inhale up, letting both arms float up. And then exhale, go to the other side. So the one arm comes down, the raised arm just kind of drapes over your head. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale to one side. We're starting to get this idea of moving with our breath. Inhale through the nose, lift up. Exhale through the nose, go to the side. Once more, inhale to the center, exhale to the side, and this time we're going to stay over here. So on the inhale, open the chest, lift the raised arm up, look up. Exhale, drape that arm over your head, turn your head, look down at the floor. Inhale, raised arm opens and lifts and the eyes look up. Exhale, arm drapes over your head, you can look down at the floor. This inhale, lift your arm up, and when you exhale, let the raised arm kind of roll forward. Now round your back a little bit. Look down at the floor. Inhale, lift that arm back up and drape it back behind you. Remember how we did that little backstroke movement before? Exhale, roll your arm down. Look down. Inhale, come to that little backstroke. Now exhale, let your arm come down. And come up to the center and pause for a moment. Notice the two sides. And then to do the other side, we'll just take the other hand to the floor and lift the other arm up. So inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, drape that arm over your head and look down. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, your arm over your head, look down. Inhale, lift your arm up. And this exhale... Round forward, let that arm drape down in front of you, round your back, look down, and inhale it back behind you. You might bend the elbow a little bit, you might look at your hand. Do that again, exhale forward and down. Inhale back, watch your hand. Exhale, the hand can just lower down, and you can come back to the center. And just a few rounds, inhale both arms up, so a little symmetry, a little symmetrical movement. Exhale down. Let's do that two more times. Lengthen up. Inhale. Exhale down. One more. Inhale up. Exhale down. Notice your neck. Notice your shoulders. And then please come to lie down on your back. So for this part, you can just Scoot your whatever you were sitting on out of the way and come to lie down on your back. So it may feel nice after sitting to pull your knees up into your chest and sway, massage your back, rocking. You could also make circles with your knees. This can also feel quite nice on the back, just whatever feels good for you. You can also circle your ankles a little bit. Wiggle your toes. And then let your feet come to the floor. For now, you can just let your legs rest. It may be nice to have the feet a little bit wider and the knees touching. So wherever you can have your legs comfortable. And then we're going to move our arms. Again, we're going to think about moving with the breath. So please inhale your arms up over your head. Maybe they go all the way back and touch the floor behind you. Exhale your hands down by your sides. Breathe through your nose and pull the belly in on the exhale. So inhale, lift your arms up over your head. Breathe through the nose. 
Exhale, lower the arms down, pull the belly in. Inhale, lift your arms up over your head. Exhale down. Maybe you're moving a little bit faster or a little bit slower than what I'm saying. That's fine. Just try to think about coordinating your movement with your breath. Exhale down. Pull your belly in. The next time your hands are down, pause. Notice your shoulders. And then pull your knees towards your chest. And we're going to inhale and straighten the legs toward the ceiling, which may feel nice after we were sitting. Exhale, bend your knees. Pull your belly in. Inhale through the nose. We'll reach the heels up. I just want to open up the backs of the legs. Exhale, bend the knees. Again, inhale, lift the legs. Exhale, bend the knees. This time, add the arms. So lift the arms and the legs together. Here's the in-breath. We're lifting. On the exhale, bend your knees, lower your arms, pull your belly in. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Two more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Last one. Inhale, up. Breathe through your nose. Exhale, down. And then you can put your feet on the floor. Take a moment to notice the sensations in your hips and your back. And then just a couple of movements for the hips before we do the next part. <clears throat> so let your feet come pretty wide if you're on a mat to the edges of your mat, if you're on the floor wider than your hips. And then on the exhale, let both knees fall to one side. On the inhale, let both knees rise up. Again, another opportunity to think about moving with your breath. So exhale to one side. Inhale back up. Maybe you turn your head the opposite way. So as your knees go one way, you could turn your head the other way. And then on the inhale, when your knees lift up, your head can just roll back to the center. And then exhale, turn your head the opposite way. Let's do one more to each side. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. And exhale. And then inhale, bring your knees up to the center and walk your feet back in so that they're about hip width apart. So that these joints, your hips, your knees, and your heels are all lined up. And then bring your hands, palms down by your sides. On your next inhale, let your hips lift up off of the floor. And whatever amount you lift is fine. Exhale, lower the hips back down. And as you lower down, pull in the abdominal muscles. Again, inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, going down. We're going to do that just two more times, just to get a little opening in the front of the hips. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Let's do one more. And you can go up a little less or a little higher if you like. Inhale, lift. And exhale. Come on down. And then, again, pull your knees up. You can give yourself a little hug. We're going to roll over to the side, so you can just roll over onto your hands and knees. Please use your hands to push yourself up. And then we're going to come on to all fours. So for this part, maybe you use that blanket again under your knees. You can use whatever padding is helpful for you. So coming to all fours, or tabletop position we sometimes call this, so the hands are underneath your shoulders, the hips are over your knees. When you inhale, lift your chest, breathe through your nose again. Exhale, as you pull the belly in, you may feel your low back round a little bit, and then let your hips fold back, your elbows touch down, your head lower down, and then inhale back up to all fours, a little lift of the chest. Exhale, rounding back. Inhale, rising up. How are these movements feeling in your hips and your back? 
exhale, folding back. And when you come up on this inhale, lift your right leg, stretch it back behind you. Let the toes point down so the heel just reaching back. Exhale, put the knee down, fold back, just move with your breath. Inhale, lift your left leg up as you rise. Maybe the chest lifts this time. Exhale, put everything down, fold back. So this time, pick up the right leg again, but also add the opposite arm. So the right leg and the left arm, and the eyes can look down. On your exhale, come on down. Put your knee and your hand down, fold back. And then when you get to the inhale, left leg and the right arm on the inhale. Exhale down, fold back. Okay, so again, uh, to each side, right leg, left arm. Eyes look down so the neck stays straight. Exhale, come on down. And then left leg, right arm, inhale. Exhale down, fold back. And then just come up to all fours for a moment. Put your elbows down on the floor. So just come onto your elbows. And you can let your hips kind of woggle. This is puppy pose, so you can just wag your tail a little bit. And then push back up onto your hands. For now, take your right leg back and put the toes of that foot on the floor. So this is a couple of things helping us with stretching the back of that leg and helping to level out the hips. So if I just lift my leg, there's a tendency for the hip to pop up. So we're trying to get the hips level here. So keep your right foot on the floor, and on an inhale, lift your left arm forward. Hold in place on your exhale. Pull your belly in. And when you inhale, then let that left foot rise a few inches up off the floor. You still point your toes down. Exhale, put the toes back down on the floor. Pull your belly in. Inhale, lift the foot. And on this exhale, you can touch your toes down or hold. And on your inhale, lift the foot again or hold. One more. Exhale, touch your toes down toward the floor or hold. Inhale, lift the foot or hold. Now exhale, put your hand down, put your knee down. Fold back. Maybe you need to move that right wrist a little bit. Inhale up and put your elbows down again. You can sway side to side with your hips. And then we'll do the movement to the other side. So come up to all fours. Take your left foot back. And again, you can start with the toes on the floor so that you can stretch the back of that leg. You can level out your hips. And while your foot is on the floor, inhale your right arm forward. Hold on your exhale. Pull in your belly. Inhale, lift your foot. What do you notice? Exhale, touch the toes of that foot down slowly. So it's a pretty small movement. Inhale, lift the foot. And on the exhale, either touch your toes back down or hold. And on your inhale, lift your foot or hold. One more. Exhale, touch the toes down or hold. Inhale, lift the foot. And then exhale everything down, fold back. Again, you can move your wrists if it's helpful. Inhale up. And then come back to child's pose. So in this pose, we let the hips go back. And you could rest your head. You know, Some of you may touch your head to the floor. You could stack up your fists to support your head. Use your blanket to support your head. You can rock a little bit. If it's just better to be up on your elbows, that's also fine. Sway. Maybe even closing your eyes for a moment, just checking in. And then push up to hands and knees. Tuck your toes under and push up to downward facing dog pose. So if you lift your hips up, you can start with a little bend in your knees. Think about lengthening your spine. And then you can pedal out your legs. Maybe one leg bends, one knee straightens. Here we're still lining up the joints so the feet are a little bit apart. Think about hip width apart. And you can just hold, you can bend one knee at a time, you can bend both knees a little bit. For many people that's 
quite helpful. And then please lower your knees down to the floor. And we're going to come up and stand on the knees for the next movement. So when you're standing on your knees, if you can uh, tuck your toes under, yeah, that's going to be nice. If you can't tuck your toes under, that's fine. So when we were lying on our back, we did this movement where we took our arms up over our head. So we're going to do a similar movement here. So inhale your arms up. See how that feels? Exhale, lower your arms. Pull your belly in. Lower your eyes. Remember, moving with your breath, inhale up. Exhale down. Such a helpful movement to open up the back. Again, inhale up. Exhale down. So this time we're going to add a little twist. So inhale, lift your arms up. On the exhale, let one hand go behind, one arm forward, and try to look over your back shoulder. And then inhale back to the center and lift. So go the same direction again. Belly in, exhale, look over that back shoulder. Inhale to the center. One more like that. Exhale the turn. Inhale, center. Now we're going to go forward three times. Exhale, lower your arms, pull your belly in. Inhale, lift your arms up. Maybe your eyes lift. Exhale down, belly in. You could do this option where we lift the arms in this way. You could bend the elbows and lift them up, especially if you have a shoulder issue. You can come down the same way. Exhale down. This time we're going to do the the twist to the other side. So inhale, lift up. Exhale, turn to the opposite side. Look over your shoulder, both arms reaching long, belly drawing in. Inhale back to the center and lift. Exhale, turn. Inhale, center and lift. Exhale, turn. Inhale, center, and lift. Now exhale both arms down. Feel free to bend the elbows. And then we'll do three more. The first option is to lift your arms forward and up like we've been doing. And you could do that with bent elbows. Exhale down, especially if you've got a shoulder injury. Or you could do out to the side and up. Remember how we did this in sitting earlier. And then exhale down. So whichever you like best, do one more. Inhale. And exhale. So you might feel this um, back bend here. Please bring your hands back down onto the mat. We're going to push up to downward facing dog to stretch out our back after those back bends. So come up. Bend your knees a little. Lift your hips up. Feel free to hold that. Pedal your legs. Straighten them both at the same time. See what feels good. We want to get some stretch in the back. How's your body feeling? And then we're going to come to stand up. So you could stand up now or you could hold this pose for a few more breaths. Once you've come to standing, if you have you know, a little blanket or something on your mat, you can move it out of the way. And then we'll do a little swinging. So step your feet out about shoulder width apart. And swing a bit. You can turn your head, turn your eyes. All right, and then keep your feet out, say shoulder width apart, maybe a little bit wider, depending on the length of your legs. You could be wider. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see my back. We're going to do a little forward fold. So take a, take your hands to the sides of your body. Take an in breath and lift your chest. And on your exhale, we're going to bow down. We're going to bend the knees quite a bit. Slide the hands down the sides of your legs. And you could go down just maybe halfway the first time. And then inhale back up. And this time, exhale, bend your knees, go down. If it doesn't make you dizzy, it feels comfortable to go down deeper, you could let your head bow down deeper. 
and then slide your hands up first so they're on your hips and then inhale up so like your elbows are pulling you back up try that again exhale bow down halfway or a bit more if it's good for you the knees are bent here begin your inhale by sliding your hands up to your hips and then lifting your chest up with a flat back so we're going to try a variation of that on the exhale bend your knees bow down halfway with the knees bent and while you're holding the knees bent on the inhale, lift your chest up and your arms up like a cactus. So the two elbows are bent out to the sides. And then exhale, bring your arms back down. Do that again. Inhale, this little lift of the chest. Make you feel your back muscles working. Exhale, down. Inhale, stand back up. We're going to do that again. We're going to hold three breaths down there, so please don't hurt your back. You can bend your knees a little less if it's better for you. Exhale down. Just halfway with your chest. Inhale, lift the arms, lift the chest. Exhale, knees stay bent. Hands just come back down to touch. Inhale, lift your chest, lift your arms. Exhale. You might feel some work in your legs here. Again, inhale, lift. Now exhale, bring your hands down. And the first option is to just stay here and kind of let your hips sway. The second option is to let your head hang down and hold on to opposite elbows and sway a little bit like this. You can straighten the legs one at a time. If you're holding your elbows, switch the way you're crossing your elbows. And then let your arms come down. On an inhale, bend both knees a lot and look up. Touch the sides of your hips as you exhale. And then inhale, slowly rise up with a flat back. <sighs> Let your shoulders come down. And then you can, with your feet a little bit wide, swing a little bit. See what you feel. And you might feel a little work in your legs from that movement. Good. And then just stand nice and tall. Take a few breaths to to check in, to just be aware of how you're feeling, to notice the sensations in your body. Good, and then we'll lie back down on the floor. So you can come back onto your back. And once you come onto your back, you can pull your knees into your chest and give yourself a little hug, which, again, may feel nice for your back, and some circles for your ankles may feel good. You can shake your feet. And then rock a little bit to massage your back. How does that feel? And then take your, um, with your knees up close to your chest, we're going to let both knees go to one side. So if you, what we want to notice is when the knees go to the side, like I'm going to use this block, you could use a blanket or something, to put under my knees so that when I stretch the opposite arm out onto the floor, it's pretty comfortable and that shoulder is down on the floor and just holding this twist for a few breaths take a big inhale into that open side and on your exhale try to just slide the two knees closer together so the top knee comes a little closer to the lower knee I'm not pulling with my hand or anything inhale into the open side exhale hug your knees together Another breath. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. One more. Exhale. And then to come up, we're going to lift first the top leg and then the second leg and then put both feet down on the floor. Take a couple of breaths to notice, to notice the two sides, to even up the hips, to even up the shoulders. And then we're going to go over to the other side. So, again, you might use a pillow or if you have blankets or blocks or things, you can use them to support your legs. Pull both knees up toward your chest. When you go to the other side, try to keep your knees up toward your chest. This situates the hips in a safe, slightly safer position. So if you can tuck your knees up close, it's good. Now the outside arm, the open arm, you can stretch it out to the side. Try to... 
If that shoulder is like way up off of the floor, you may want to lift your knees up so you're not straining your shoulder. And then we'll hold this side for a few breaths. So big inhale. On the exhale, try to slide that top knee just a tiny bit closer to the lower knee. Inhale into the open side. Exhale, belly, belly hugs in. Let's do two more breaths. Big inhale. Exhale. Maybe a sigh on the last exhale. Big inhale. And then again, gently lift the knees one at a time. Come onto your back and let your feet come down to the floor. And just situate your hips and shoulders so they're even. And then we're going to do the bridge pose movement again. This is to, to do some symmetrical movement after the twist. So with your hands, palms down by your sides, inhale, lift your hips up off of the floor. Let your head also be straight for this part. Exhale down. When you lift up, it puts just a little pressure on the back of the neck, and we want the neck to be straight for that. So again, inhale, lift your hips any amount. Exhale down. Another option is to lift your arms up over your head at the same time. You lift your hips and your arms. It's fine if you just lift your hips, though. Either way is good. As you exhale, lower everything down. So again, you could do hips or hips and both arms. What feels good for you now. Exhale down. And then a few more repetitions, lifting your hips or your hips and your arms or lift and hold. So you could just lift your hips and hold. You could lift the hips and arms and hold. Again, the head is pointing straight up, whichever variation you're doing. And some breath. So if you're still holding or you're moving up and down, on an exhale, please lower down and stay down. You can draw your knees up into your chest again and rock. You may even like lifting your chest up towards your knees. And then you can sway or move any way that feels nice. Again, some feet movement. You can shake things, shake your hands, shake your feet. All right, please put your feet down. And we want to find a position where the legs can rest. So for now, that might be with the knees bent. You could even walk the feet a little wider, let the knees touch, and the hands could just rest on your belly. And if you're comfortable closing your eyes, just close your eyes and begin to let go of the effort. So begin to let your body come to a position of rest. You can let your body breathe on its own. You don't have to try to breathe any particular way. Notice the sensation. So do you feel comfortable? Is there any way you could adjust your shoulders or your neck to be more comfortable or your hips? And when we uh, come into the relaxation pose, Shavasana, the last pose, we sometimes we want to be comfortable. That's the goal, to be comfortable. So some people enjoy lying flat on the floor, and it feels comfortable. And you can do that if it's comfortable for you. If what you notice when